Part 2, choosing your CPU. Now there are many CPUs out there and they could get damn expensive. But it all comes down to how much you want to spend versus how much performance you want. Now, in the world of CPUs and the world of processors, there are two major companies. There's Intel and there's AMD. Now, some think there's a big feud between Intel and AMD, and if you choose to believe that, sure, it's competition. Think of Microsoft and Apple. Which one's better? It's pure preference. I, in fact, like Intel, and that is my preference, and that's what I use. So the next thing you're going to want to know about is cores. Should I get a single core processor? Should I get a dual core processor? Should I get a quad core processor? Or should I go higher? Now a single core processor is going out of style. It's You won't want to buy a single core processor. Why? It may be cheap, but it's it's slow. It can only process one task at a time before moving on to another. So if you're multitasking, that's not what you want. Going into dual core processors. The flagship dual core processor was Intel Core 2 Duo. I'm talking Intel because I don't know much about AMD. So the Core 2 Duo is a dual core processor. It has two cores, and with hyper-threading technology, you could process four threads at once. So you could multitask. It was great. You have two cores, so you could be on MSN while playing music, while watching videos, while doing this, and it'll run smoothly. Now, for most cases, this is all you need. A dual-core processor is great. I use it in my laptop, in my my MacBook Pro of an Intel Core 2 Duo. Um, which one do I have? Yeah, I have an Intel Core 2 Duo clocked at 2.66 gigahertz. That's one thing I'm going to talk about in a second. So you're going to have a dual core, single core. You don't want that. Dual core is great for the everyday user. Then we get into a quad core. Quad core, double the dual core. You got four cores with in now. Where should I go with this? Intel's old technology was the Core 2 Quad. It was a quad core. It was run. It runs great. But now Halo came along. Intel i7 Core i7. It's the new native quad core processor. With HT technology, could get could get eight threads going at once. So you got two. So you got four cores, each core with two threads. So now you can multitask even better. Now I have the Intel Core i7. So i7 is the brand, and they have different models: the 920, the 950, and going up. I have the 920 clocked at 2.66 gigahertz. So if you want um, extreme processing, if you want great multitasking if you want to uh, edit video render video picture editing um, some intense picture editing graphic editing and shit like that you're going to want a, a quad core quad cores are coming down in price and if you're thinking of getting a dual core yeah it's a great idea i mean it, that's all you pretty need that's pretty much all you need but it's not that much cheaper than a quad core and if you get the Core 2 Quad versus the Core 2 Duo, it's definitely worth your time. Now, if you want to bump it up to the i7, it'll be a little more expensive. But in my opinion, gaming-wise, yeah. So, you hear me talk about gigahertz. And if you don't know what that is, well, it's the speed of the processor. Back in the day, I remember what, a gigahertz was fast, and I was really fast. Now we have those in our cell phones. So, I mean, we've come a long way. Remember, single core processors, you may get a clock speed of over three gigahertz, but that's only one core. So the more cores you have, the lower the clock speed. So you get kind of a balancing effect right there. You get 
more cores, but a slower clock speed. Or you get less cores, but a bigger clock speed. Which one you want? My opinion, more cores, slower clock speed. Now I've always bought, I've always bought, bought, that's not, <laughs> that's not a word. I've always bought uh, processors higher than 2.3 gigahertz. That's my baseline. I won't go under 2.3. It's up to you whether you what you want to do. So you got how many cores in a processor versus its processor clock speed. So the last thing you're going to want to know is its socket type. The core 2 family is usually socket 775. The core i7 family, socket 1366. When you go to look into these processors, it'll be easily um, shown. It's in the facts, just go into details. It'll say socket type with a number next to it. Now this socket type you're gonna have to know because it relates to what motherboard it fits in. So make sure you check out what socket type your CPU is, or the one you're looking into, as well as will it fit into the motherboard I want it to. So choose your CPU. Next thing you're going to want to do, choose your motherboard. That's the next video. Click on down here to move on.